Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. I, um, I got a swamp cooler here and it turns on, everything works great for about 15 minutes and then it shuts down. So I believe the motor is overheating. So I want to give you guys a quick rundown of how to do this. I'm going to go ahead and pull it off and show you what to look for and see if we can fix it. If we can't fix it, we'll buy a new one, but we're going to at least try. So here's a swamp cooler. You have your adjustment bracket here. We're not going to worry about the adjustment bracket because we're pulling the motor clean off. Simply going to loosen up this Phillips screw and this Phillips screw and the motor will come off. We can tip it to get the belt off. So we don't need to mess with the adjustment at all. And then the cord just goes back and plugs into that junction box back there. So let's get the motor out and on the desk and see what's going on. Two, two Phillips screws. So there's the clamps there. You can see where the Phillips screw just took it out and the clamps just come right off the little hook. So that's out. So now the first thing we want to look at is the back cover. So let's pull it off and make sure nothing's shortening out. So now we can see down inside there, all the wires seem to be connected. Nothing looks like it's grinding, grounding out. Everything seems to be fine. So if you don't have a problem here with the short, um, now it's definitely something is shorting out because otherwise it wouldn't shut down. They don't have a reset button on them. They just get hot and shut down. So if you don't have something connecting here, then inside on the armature, you're going to have some buildup and uh, that's causing it. And the most common problem with that is on electric motors is a warped pulley or a pulley that's not on correct. And you can see this one here, the way it turns, it's definitely given it a really good shake there. So it looks like it's out of adjustment. And when I spin it, it's not moving fast enough. It should be spinning a lot faster than that. So it looks like this might be a quick fix. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust this pulley and then we're going to lube it up a little bit. If you look uh, right here somewhere, right there, that's where you're going to put some oil on that, on that bearing. You're just going to pop that cap and drop a little bit of oil in the hole. It doesn't take much, just a couple drops. So let's start off by pulling this pulley off. Okay, so we got an Allen wrench inside the uh, Allen hole there, and there's going to be one on the back side too, right there for the back pulley. I think you can see that. So let's pull both of those off. Okay, so now that we have the back one off and the front one off, you can see the back one turns. The front one is going to be pressed on, but the back one will loosen or tighten according to the thickness of your belt. And a lot of times these weren't adjusted right, and that's what caused them to get hot in the first place. So you can see how she spins there. So the further I go to the right, the wider the belt. The further I go to the left, this is the thinner the belt. So that's going to be one of my issues right there. And I can tell that the pulley's bent a little bit. So I'm just going to tap on it and straighten it, and then I'm going to adjust it properly. Now, for as far as the bearing goes, I can still hear a drag in there. So let's go ahead and lube up that bearing. Okay, so we're just going to get the screwdriver up underneath the plug and pry up on it and that should lift the plug up to where you can pull it right out. So there's the plug. And if you have one of these little oilers, it sure helps. You can just squeeze a little bit of oil right in there. If not, just make some sort of a funnel. Now again, it doesn't take a whole lot, just enough to get it lubed up. That should be plenty. So now let's do the same to the back. Okay, so we got the front and back lubed up, and man, she's spinning a heck of a lot better now. So now I'm just going to adjust the pulley, and the way that you do that is just close it all the way, uh, loosen the inside pulley so it threads out, and set your belt on it, and you want it to be about flush with the top, and I'm there. So in this particular situation, I'm just going to close it all the way. Hopefully you can too, but if your belt is too large, then just back it up to where the belt is flush and then put your Allen screws back in inside right there, right there, and uh, tighten it down at that point. Now you may need to back it up a little bit more. You can see the flat spot on the, on the lip right there. Let me point at it. Right there is a flat spot. And that's really where you want your Allen screw to tighten down at. So go back one turn if you have to before you put it in. And then place it in and tighten up the top one and let's get this thing installed. Okay, and when you put the plate back on the back, make sure that the wire is running in the correct hole. Otherwise, it'll squash down and you won't get it down flush. So we'll set that on. All right, now those are in. The pulley is adjusted correctly. It's spinning nicely and uh, we have it oiled up. Let's go set it back in the swamp cooler. Okay, so all we've done is just set it in there. The clamps are not on it yet. This is the point where you want to put the belt on. So go ahead and grab it and just run it around real slowly so that it doesn't tweak the motor too much. 
And there we go. Now we can set our clamps on. Okay, now we have that tightened up. When you put the clamps on, put one on and just start it in a little bit. Then put the other one on, tighten it down. Go back to the first one and tighten it down. Just makes it simpler so it doesn't pitch on you. And then your belt, you always want to adjust from the two furthest points from here to here. Just go in the middle somewhere and push down. You should be able to push down one inch and that's proper adjustment. So I think that's it. Let's try it. We'll plug it in. All right, so there we go. Now we can stay cool this summer. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Please click like, please click subscribe. If you need to know more about that motor taking it apart, let me know. I got an old one we can rip apart and I can show you more detail about the armature and how to clean that if this didn't solve your problem. Thanks again for watching. You can always click under my name too on this video for all my other how-to videos. Or visit me at backyardmechanic.org. Enjoy. So just for you that need to know, I've opened up the case and you can see here the armature. See the little bit of rust right there? That brown stuff? That's what's causing it to heat up. There's a bunch of it down in here. So I'm just going to take a piece of emery cloth and I'm just going to clean it. Now there's grooves on the armature you can see right here they go this direction. And I've already started sanding. You can see where it's clear there. So I want to stay with those grooves when I sand this. I, I just want to go back and forth like this, not up and down. So just clean it up really good, and, and that'll cause it not to overheat right there. So uh, then we'll put this back together. Um, I wasn't going to throw this in the video, but I thought I better go ahead and do it in case somebody needed it. Now, most of these uh, motors have bolts that go through, two or four bolts. This particular one's kind of cheap. It just has these bent over tabs. If you look on, if you do have this one, if you have the bolts, just pull it apart. But if you do have this cheapo motor, look for, where is it now? I think it's, uh, let's see. There's a, a spot on the case where you can hit it right there. You see that groove right there? So all you do is just lay a screwdriver in there and smack it that direction like you're trying to take it off, the back and the front. And you need to pull the wires off. I pulled that wire off. And uh, maybe snap a picture if you don't know where those go. If not, I'll include a picture with the directions of the wires and where they connect. But um, yeah, just smack it with a hammer. Do the back first, take the back off, and then do the front and take it off. Then clean this armature here and the magnets and such. So let's go ahead and... Uh, clean that up and we'll get it back together but I just wanted to throw this in there so I'm going to jump back into the video where I've just been oiling I'm just going to throw this in the middle somewhere so that you know and then when you put it back together just tap it back together until it's flat and knock all these beads down just a little bit um, just use a punch like this or a big screwdriver if you have and just knock them down it'll hold it, the case back together it doesn't take much so, alrighty, uh, let me go ahead and clean this up and back to your video with the oil and such. Now, I'm just going to line up each one of those and smack it hard all the way around. Just give it nice little taps till it goes back down. And then we're just going to tap these back down. That's all.